I need help and support following my cancer diagnosis. Hey there, this is Billy Goldfeder answering some questions from you as part of our What's Your Problem series hosted by FireRescue1.com and Lexapol. And here's today's question. I just got a thyroid cancer diagnosis. I'm a 40-year veteran of the fire service with the department in Ohio. I'm just starting down this road, but here's my fear of problem. I'm not a favorite of the fire chief who's currently our chief. I don't see a lot of support. Maybe I could have done better in relationships. I don't know. But the bottom line is I now need help. What are your thoughts on dealing with the situation? Well, first of all, my heart goes out to you. I am a cancer survivor. I went through prostate cancer, uh, and it was extremely aggressive, and I'm very lucky uh, that I'm doing well. All right, so I just want to pass that on to you first. The first thing you do when you get your cancer diagnosis within the fire service is to reach out to the Firefighter Cancer Support Network. Uh, they will not only send you a large package of all kinds of swag, uh, information, tools, they call it their toolbox, to help you get through this. It's extremely informative, won't cost you a nickel, and that's what you want. Secondly, you should have a sit down with the chief. I believe, no matter what relationship you may have in the past, that when you sit down with someone who's got any ounce of leadership in them, and you let them know you've got a cancer diagnosis, uh, that their heart is going to blossom and their emotions, their negative thoughts about you are going to shrink. At least I hope that's the case. I think you need to go to that chief and explain it. Uh, if you're a union organization or have an association, you need to go to your union or your association president and let them know. Uh, and, and let them know what you may or may not need. Um, you may need help with paperwork uh, to fill out if it's a worker's comp issue. You just may need a damn hug once in a while. You may need, may need a ride to therapy. I don't know what your needs are or what they're going to be. And maybe you just need a little bit of sympathy. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And again, I believe even if you've may, maybe made a few enemies in the past, when people realize you're, you're dealing with something very, very serious and life-threatening, obviously, that they're going to show a more human side than perhaps that they were annoyed that you stole their peanut butter or if you've been late to work or whatever your issue is. So again, you're starting down the road. Uh, your concern is how you're going to be treated in the firehouse based upon past relationships. You have no choice but to give it a try. You should not at all keep your diagnosis to yourself. Again, that's my opinion. Uh, I think it's important that your boss and, and, and your peers know what you're going through because you're going to have some bad days uh, emotionally. Uh, physically, you shouldn't be at work. You should be, if you're having a bad day physically, you should be taken care of through whatever system they have when you have time off or what have you. But that's my thoughts. Forget about the past relationships and look, if you feel bad about some of that, when you have the conversation, tell them that. Say, hey, you know what, I'm sorry I barred you more and put gas back in it. Or whatever it was that, that, that caused this. Because now you really do need their support. Uh, you've been on the department a long time. You said you've been a 40-year veteran of the job. So obviously you've been around a while. There's got to be some built-in uh, love, compassion, and understanding for you. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find that if you just sit down and talk to these folks. And again, don't forget to reach out to the Firefighter Cancer Support Network. And on a serious note, uh, if I can help you, please reach out to me through Fire Rescue One, and Janelle will put you in touch with me, and I'll be glad to help you through that as well. Anyway, I hope that helps you. I wish you nothing but the best, uh, and, 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 and both emotionally and physically. I, I can't emphasize enough because there's the whole emotional side of cancer that, you're gonna be, that you are facing now as well. Hey, email FireRescue1 with whatever questions you have. I'm glad to help you or find solutions to whatever it is you may be facing. If I don't know the answer, I can certainly connect you with people who do.